Investigators are working hard to crack Bernie Madoff's international web of deceit. The con man reportedly has millions stashed all over the world, some of them in his wife's name. Now, something investigators want to make sure he does, she doesn't keep. Madoff owns a rooftop loft in New York's Upper East Side worth $7 million. He's got a getaway in the Hamptons worth $3 million. In Palm Beach, Florida, Madoff owns an $11 million waterfront home. And crossing the Atlantic, he owns a $1 million flat on the French Riviera and, of course, a $7 million yacht. Joining us, DailyBeast.com contributor Lucinda Franks. Ms. Franks, you have been all over this story. Good to see you this morning. What Good is the, what's, what do we take today? What's, what's the headline for today well, versus Bernie Madoff? The uh, federal authorities are trying to get back money that is stashed away in Gibraltar, Madoff money, that investors are claiming that is theirs. How difficult is it to get money out of places like Gibraltar? You can't just show up it's and say, that's his difficult. and we're taking it back. Very difficult. They've frozen the money, and the, uh, uh, the trustee that's responsible for dispersing the money to victims are trying to keep it frozen until they can get it. These properties that he's got all over the place, these banks that he was apparently hiding all this money, where do they stand in the investigation right now? They haven't spoken with Ruth yet, or the son, or Peter, that's or Shane. That's what my just sources yet. tell me. But it looks as though that's where they're going. So what are they doing now? What are the investigators looking at now? Uh, they're looking at where the money is stashed. Uh, they know that it has been laundered from bank to bank in Switzerland, uh, England, Ireland, uh, Chile, and Gibraltar, and maybe Italy and Austria. Now, it looks as though the House of Cards is coming down on this family. Just yes. some of the, Peter, who is a uh, head of compliance, making millions of dollars in salary for a job that normally pays anywhere between 150 and 250,000. We talked about the, uh, the niece yesterday. Uh, are there any chance that Ruth keeps any of these assets that we've been hearing about the last couple of days? The government is uh, trying to seize those assets. They have a lot of pro they will have a lot of problems doing that. They have to go to trial. They cannot seize the French uh, uh, houses because how could you come into France with a U.S. court order? They're not going to honor it. So this is going to be a lot more difficult than just months okay. She's got months. it. There's no way she could have got it on her own. So this is right. going to be a, a protracted. She's going to be keeping it for a long time. All right, Lucinda. Thank you very much.